Okay, so here we go. One funky thing with my camera is that uh, the point of view changes once I press record. So I look like I'm zoomed out and I'm actually zoomed in probably, you know, by 25%. So things things get a little wacky. Sorry, we're, we're learning how to use this new camera on my phone. Okay. Uh, let's see, I guess I'm going to stitch these videos together, so well, this will just be a continuation and you won't hear any of this more than likely. Uh, what I've done here is set up two squads, but what I would call two groups, okay, led by a, a, two lieutenants here. Is it uh, Lieutenant Cock? Here it is. Okay, so we, the, the best way to move units is to make sure they have a leader in their range, within range of them and that uh, that will also allow them to uh, recover from suppression and stuff like that and that lends itself naturally to grouping things to the stacking limit or thereabouts or adjacency uh, to kind of cohese uh, or, or or adhere to each individual leader so here i've got uh, a 164 and a 154, so this is a half squad uh, with an MG. Those guys are with one dude here, and these guys are uh, with another. And so that's going to give you two fire groups to work with, and I've got a medic hanging out here that can take care of stragglers and stuff like that. Coming in on the west edge, this is north, this is west, so we're going to have we have the first activation, so we're going to activate uh, Lieutenant uh, Plasman here what we want to do is try and stay out of line of sight of the enemy uh one two three four five this guy's got a range of five uh there we go get to the edge of the board you're just off edge uh range of five so we want to we want to probably try and come in something like around this way and then hit this uh event see if we can activate it because I'm sure it'll be good for us perhaps or maybe it's horrible I don't know but uh, what we want to try and do there's no real way to approach from this side without activating this so let's stay under cover as long as we can get our forces grouped so that we can push in to one two three uh, try and pick up this this building here I've only got six turns to get four buildings I believe it is Yep, so we've got to kind of hustle. So we're going to activate this dude into the map. If it's got a symbol on the map, see that A2 there? Uh, therefore, it's a, it counts as a hex, and you will have to uh, uh, count it for movement. So one, two, three, four to here. That's the infantry movement rate. But guess what? I can move another two hexes because I'm with my leader and that allows me to do uh, <clears throat> it has a it has a name and I can't be bothered looking up but I get an extra two movement points uh, because I'm using that dude now I can actually move one two to here not be anyone am I in a line of sight there so from here through here from dot to dot we're not gonna have a line of sight because this building art is gonna be in the way, number one. And number two, these these walls are gonna block. The first one, if there was a unit here, I could see, but I'm trying to see through two. So neither of those guys are gonna have a line of sight. So there we go. So that's the first activation. That guy moved, so we're gonna give him a move marker. Uh, now the next activation in turn one is to the Americans. Americans are pretty happy where they are, so they're going to pass, and we are going to move our next uh, set of guys on. They are going to move to here, and that's four to there. Whoops, four to there. And we're going to move the extra two movement points into this building, and we're going to trigger this line of sight. We are not, maybe we are, triggering, where's all my stuff? I don't have my stuff. I'm going to trigger a a uh, shot here or not. 
And in fact we are. So if I move into that building hex, I am going to trigger uh, an opportunity fire. That building hex is going to have a defensive value of, it's a black dot building, so it's probably two, I'm guessing here. Black dot, black dot, black dot, black dot, where are they? Three, okay. Red dots are four. Okay, so yeah, I will do that. I will move into here. These guys will op fire since it's probably gonna be the last action of the turn. So these guys are gonna fire. One, two, three, four. That's in range. They have a strength of two. The Americans will use a blue die and the, the Germans will use a red die. Oh, sorry, a white die. <laughs> so one and a one. Okay, two, three, and these guys have three and four. So four is greater than three. No effect. We get a fire marker here, a fire marker here, and we're gonna continue. And these guys have moved. And what I would say there is that that in essence is the end of the turn, unless the Americans wish to move or fire or do something unique here. And I don't think I want to move anybody. So that's the end of turn one. So we'll take the turn initiative marker and we'll just put it on the one and move it to two. And we're gonna roll for initiative. German, Americans are uh, blue, Germans are white. So the Germans have it. We remove these guys. We would now rally if we wanted to. We would now also check to see if we want to uh, convert units from mounted to unmounted for tripods and uh, do uh, recoveries uh, for morale and stuff like that. <clears throat> All right. So Germans have uh, the activation. They also, we also have this line of sight. So let's just pause for a second. Okay, this is kind of brutal. So that means uh, we take both of these uh, line of sight things off. <clears throat> And we now get Sergeant uh, Bauman, and he has the Assaulter capability. And we get one, two, three, whoops, they're the wrong guys. Four 164s, an MG34, and a 42, there's a 42. There's a 42, there's a 42, and there's a 34. So we're gonna bring those two bad boys on, we'll put one in each. And what that's gonna do is really allow me to build uh, two pretty tough squads. I can bring them on any, any edge I want to, and I'm going to do that. I'm gonna bring them on, he said, deftly handling his counters. I'm gonna bring them on one squad and one MG, and another squad, and then one squad and MG. And they're gonna come on on this side. They're gonna come from this angle here. We're gonna come all the way in on, on this far side over here. And uh, we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six to here. Because uh, that's my first action. Now, as a leader, I can activate all, myself units in my hex and all the units within my command range, which is this number, the one. Uh, so I'm gonna do that as well, and I'm gonna activate these guys that are uh, adjacent to me. And they're gonna move four though. One, two, three, four. Actually, let's do this. One, yeah, two, three, four. All right, so now we're attacking from two angles given the uh, Americans a bit of grief. But there's a wrinkle with the, the event. And that wrinkle is that uh, Major Tom, a hero unit, a uh, squad and a bar can enter any impulse after the Germans. 
And I am actually going to hold off for a minute on bringing these guys on. And I'm going to pass. Actually, I'm not going to pass because I think I have a lot of sight from here to here. And I do. So that is a poor choice of movement by... Let's zoom in here. Where is he here? Because, here's what's going to happen. These guys are going to fire. One, two, three, four, five. <clears throat> Moving target. I'm going to get a plus two. In fact, I should have had a plus two on that last attack. So here we go. All right. Americans roll a one again. These guys roll a five. Probably nothing's going to happen. It's a one. Plus two is three. Uh, and uh, these guys, uh, three. And then four, five for the move. Because the the... Uh, enemy is moving. That means they're easier to shoot. You can see what they're doing. They're not hunkered down. So we got. Uh... Oh, hear that noise? I don't know if you can hear the coyotes in the background. Very cool. We roll a five for defense. Two, three, four, five. So it's equal. No effect. So once again, the. Uh... Once again, where's the fire counters? These guys skate, despite their poor choice of play. I need another fired counter, this guy. Okay, <clears throat> let's see. Where are we at? 11 minutes. All right, German move. Germans are now gonna go low crawl, two to here. Low crawl means you can move one hex and you're not spotted, and the only way you're spotted is if you're adjacent to the enemy. There you go, he's gonna to move to there. That's his action. American's action. No line of sights, no shots. What we will do is pass and still wait to see what the Ameri what the Germans are gonna excuse me are gonna do. Okay, Germans are gonna go one to here and then two three to here now that will trigger opportunity fire it's going to be uh three two for the mg one for this dude and uh the leader can't add anything because he has a zero rating Roll the dice. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, they're going to be okay. That's a two. Plus two plus one is five. Six, seven. Okay. We're going to be okay here. Seven. And these guys have a four on their defense. Uh, why not? Eight. We're not going to make it. Four for the building because it's got a red dot. And uh, we roll the four. That's eight. Eight's greater than seven. No effect once again. Germans get lucky. Germans have been very lucky so far. And that is all she wrote. I think we're gonna leave this guy here. He's a little bit kind of out of whack out by himself over here. We're gonna scoot him in, low crawl him to here. In fact, we can just move him to here. We're gonna go two to here and just prop right here. That way we've got a line of sight through here and through here for the next turn. So we pull all those off. Now it's turn three. And I will probably pause the video there and we'll come back for the rest of the game in a little while.